Hi there, my name is Stijn Niesen of the Feline Diabetic Remission Clinic and Veterinary Specialist at the Royal Veterinary College in London. We have been talking a bit about how to treat and monitor diabetic pets and in this little video we'll focus a little bit more on the testing of urine in diabetic pets. Because indeed, instead of checking the glucose in the blood, we can also check the glucose in the urine, so urine glucose testing. Um, this is something that pet owners can do at home as well and the best way to do that would be to check the morning urine glucose. Why in the morning? Well then we get a nice oversight of what the glucose has been doing over a longer period of time because most pets will not have gone out to do a wee overnight so we get a nice average of what has been going on there. There are a few do's and don'ts when we use urine glucose testing. So one of the do's would be, we can use it to check for overdosage. And what do I mean with that? Well, if an animal is diabetic, we expect some glucose to filter in through into the urine. So we expect most diabetic pets to have a little bit of glucose in their urine. Once we see that their urine glucose is becoming negative, we should be extra alert because it might mean that our diabetic cat is going into remission or our diabetic dog is being given too much insulin because again we expect a diabetic animal to always have a little bit of spillage of glucose into the urine even when they are being controlled very well. So that's a do. We can check for overdosage or for cats going into remission. A don't would be to increase the insulin dose on the basis of urine glucose. So insulin changes or especially increases, we do not want to do on the basis of urine glucose. Why is that? Well, we can have a situation where if we give too much insulin, the glucose goes too low and the body has a few mechanisms to try to rescue the animal or the human being from that situation. So when the glucose goes too low, the body puts out a lot of other hormones to try to pump that glucose back up. Those hormones are adrenaline, noradrenaline, growth hormone, cortisol, glucagon, a whole range of hormones that help the body try to prevent a deadly situation. So what happens then, the glucose that was too low is suddenly shooting up. And by shooting up, it actually goes over what we call the renal threshold. The renal threshold is the level in the blood at which we expect the glucose to flush over into the urine. So if we would then rely on the urine glucose, we would see in that diabetic pet who had actually an overdose of insulin, we see some glucose in the urine appearing. And if we therefore would only use urine glucose as a parameter, we would say perhaps wrongly, oh, this animal needs more insulin, whereas the opposite is true. That might be a little bit of a brain twister, but have a little think about it. So again, there is a place for urine glucose testing in veterinary medicine and in having a diabetic pet, mainly to check whether or not an animal is going into remission or whether an animal is receiving too much insulin but we do not want to increase insulin on the basis of urine glucose testing alone we want to combine that with some other parameters as well always always have a good talk with your veterinarian about these issues because diabetes is not easy but we can get fantastic results and great quality of life when we treat it well and in conversation with our veterinarians thank you very much for your attention